my greatest fear growing up it definitely was being homeless, but I had to get over that quick. My greatest fear was not making it because I live around people that I can't really say that was successful. My biggest fear was that I would end up as a statistic. You know, my fear was that I would get pregnant before I graduated high school, that I would be single, that I would be in poverty, that I would be living in my grandma's house for the rest of my life. That is like, uh, that is, was my biggest fear. DC Village was a, um, it was a shelter in uh, Southwest DC. I remember getting off the bus and I was crying and complaining. I was like, I'm not trying to be in a shelter. And I remember coming around a bend to uh, DC Village. And it was this big curve you had to come around. And I remember walking back there with all these bags in my hand and uh, all these kids were outside playing. And I remember they ran up to us as we were coming in. And I was like, well, you know, I was pissed. I was like, I don't want to be here, you know, I don't want to. So um, I got there, you know, they asked me what the name. They, were, like, you know, they took us in. It was an experience, but I made some good friends out of that experience that I'm still friends with now. And we don't talk about it as much because, you know, that was the past, but we know where we came from. But that experience probably changed my life for the better, I would, I would say. My father was in and out of prison since I was about two or three. So I never, I didn't really see him or grow up with him or have that relationship. As a child, as a young person, as a teenager, if you have a parent that is in prison, it's a taboo issue a lot of times. Like, it's not something you just put out there on the table. When you meet somebody and you, they ask you, tell me about yourself, and you say, hey, I'm this, I'm that, by the way, I have a parent in prison, you just don't do that. And I asked myself this when I was younger, you know, does my parent really love me? Am I, am I, am I worth something? And I just thought there's something that, I, there has to be something I can do. I have a little brother named Jacob. Growing up, me and, me and Jacob would be in the same school Teachers couldn't believe he was my brother. We were like night and day. He was the hellion. I was the holy child. I was the one that didn't say anything to anybody. I did my work. He was the one you can count nine times out of the day. He'd be in the hallway running from security or having temper tantrum flipping out the classroom or something like that. So, and then when he seen me uh, leaving for college, I, I don't think it really hit him until I actually got on the road and left. And Jacob had a 360. It was like, it was like wow, you know, he's actually on track because. Young, I mean eighth grade, seventh grade, we all talked about making it out. That was our big thing. And honestly, that was our thing. We're going to make it out. We're going to go. We're going to go somewhere, you know. It, it, it means a lot. And to see your friends doing the same thing, the guys that you hung out with, you know, the guys we all, we all looking for pennies to buy something. You know, it, 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 it's something special. The College Success Foundation has certainly given me a lot. The funding, of course, is always great, but beyond that, as I said, the relationships and the mentoring and also opportunities. And I definitely always, I feel a need to give that back. So scholarships is the perfect way for me to do that. Scholarships is a nonprofit um, that I started in my junior year of high school, Washington, D.C. And we provide scholarships and mentoring to high school graduating seniors with parents in prison who are going to college. It's different when you have to sit down and actually prioritize and say, okay, what is it that, what is it that you see every day in your life that you would like to change? That could apply personally, that could apply, you know, on bigger levels on, on, on a, in your community. Before the College Success Foundation Achiever Program, the Hero Program, there really wasn't no real program that engulfed the six schools in Ward 7 and 8, the 10 schools total. And from the time they've been here, we have over a thousand scholars and we have almost four to 500 hero students that we work with on a daily basis. And before this program, no program in Ward 7 and 8 had that many kids, you know, giving them $50,000 scholarships, you know, and taking them on college tours yearly, three times a year or such, and hero working with them to give them that male role model, that male figure. It don't matter, you still left before it was time to go, and it wasn't 12.40 something either. I know. I know. You may have a kid that likes to play with guns, and that's his whole thing, he want to walk around his pants down. But if you talk to him and say, man, you don't need to pull your pants down. You know, and that's what's gratified about mentoring. You can change 
a path before they even start walking on it, you know, because you can see it. You can see where this child is headed. But if you got to if you're in their ear, you can you can really pull them to the to the next street. Yeah, I lost my trust. You on the fence, but you're not going. I done had to put up with you too many times, too many lives for me, all right? Hopefully you're going to learn from this. Hopefully you can, because we're not doing this line with you. Success, success to me is basically not saying you made it, but coming back to help other people make it. I think that's, that's a bigger success to me than being a millionaire and helping nobody. Coming back and helping people or coming back and trying to help people is a bigger success to me than, than being a millionaire. I could have taken this scholarship and you know, did what I had to do and you know, went about my business, but I think I, I realized that I have nephews you know, I have little nieces, I have friends, I have family. There's kids in this area that need my help. We all go through things, um, and when I say that, I don't necessarily mean bad things, but we all go through life and we learn lessons, big or small. And the thing is, is, well, did I share that with anybody? Did I? And so success is being able to say that I was able to make a difference in someone else's life. You, you can't change the world overnight. Martin Luther King couldn't do it, and I know I can't do it. But, you know, it has to start somewhere. And if not us, then who?